Today we're going to be having a look at Warframe. Now this just has received an update which is I think it's called the Plains of Eidolon. But we're not going to have a look at that. All we're doing is we're having a look at the entire game and we'll have a gander at that as well. Uh, first thing that happens if you check out it daily, you can get daily rewards. Ooh, I got a Neo V2 relic. I'll talk about that later. Basically, it's a, it's a space RPG in space. So you've got your little uh, ship and... I'll show you around the ship first. Uh, you have navigation, and basically, you can go to any world, and you can do any mission on any world. It's a free game. This is a free game. This is how many missions each world has. Free. All free. There's multiple worlds, and as you um, progress and finish each mission, uh, different planets will be unlocked. And you get super famous, and you and you get super rich, and you get great. Uh, there's three uh, tasks you can complete. Uh, quests, those are your main objectives that you can do throughout the the game, and they they give you equipment, and they can advance you through the story. It's mainly the story bit. And then there's alerts, which to do with uh, specific um, rewards that you can get for doing certain. Uh, missions, and then void fissures. These are, I think, I don't really know. They're they're meh. You do them. And good things happen. Oh, yeah. Conclave. Uh, that's online fighting. Uh, PvP. You've got a market. Uh, when you buy um, the in-game currency, you can uh, purchase different um, armors and weapons and skins and shit. All from this place. But down here is the actual customizational bit. Uh, I've got myself a fucking giant dog. I'm gonna pet you, you cute little Kubro. This is the mods. This is where you can install any uh, modifications onto your equipment. It's it's generally a bit self-explanatory. It's a, it's a bit confusing at times if you're just first starting out. And there's a lot of shit that you gain very, very quickly, I'd say. The foundry. You go out into the world and uh, occasionally you pick up uh, blueprints. You can, you can buy blueprints, but you, you most of the time you can pick up blueprints. And then if you get all the... All the resources which you collect from doing missions and and picking up the shit around missions uh, you can build weapons and you can build armor for example I made the uh, rhino um, the rhino uh, armor and the rhino armor needs rhino neuroptics rhino chassis rhino systems and that allowed me to make a rhino suit so you need a bunch of things to make one thing for example I've been trying to make ember I need ember ne neuroptics uh, Blueprint. I need Ember System blueprint and I need Ember Chassis bl blueprint. Then I need all the all the resources to build those blueprints. Then I can build the Ember, and that the Ember will probably take like three days to make. So it's it's a bit of a it's a long winded. It's not it's not quick. It's quite a long winded um, experience. It's it's it is good though. I I do recommend it. F I would bu I would buy it if it was like fifteen quid. But this is free. This is all the free shit. I haven't spent. A dime on this game, and it is still a fantastic game, and I think uh, that increases it by a million percent. If it's free, and I get all this shit for free, it's fucking amazing. Uh, this is my arsenal. This is where I can equip all my different equipment. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what actually. I don't know what level I am. I'm level twenty. Well, my co I'm I'm level three. My costume suit is level twenty three. Um, and you can equip different uh, armors. I have the Rhino and the Excalibur. I wish I could uh, build any of the others, but I'm kind of a noob at the moment. Even though I've played quite a couple hours and I have like 71,000 uh, currency things, uh, I'm still pretty shit. And then you've got weapons. I've got a couple more weapons. I've got a Bultor, De Dex, Cybaris, and MK Bratton. This is the weapon I got at the beginning. And side weapon, Dex Furis and Lato. And... Um, the attacky weapons, I got a stick. Oh my god, I got a frag ore. What the fuck is that? Holy moly, I didn't realise I had this. Ho oh, I had this as well. I didn't know I'd die either. Holy moly, I'm equipping this. Yes, please, hey, give me that. Um, then I can equip different companions. The only two I have is Orexion and Taxon, the little magical robot device. He's a little, little robot. Uh, I prefer the pet because he picks shit up and stuff, and that's just better for me. I, I don't know. You, you can you can feel a different way. Uh, so basically, about any other any piece of your equipment, you can upgrade it, and that moves you to the upgrade menu. 
you can do this all by hand uh, manually. Uh, it's to do with, you know, the, these things up here have, have capacity levels. Usually what I do is I just go to uh, actions and then uh, auto install because that just gives me the best shit that I have to offer. And that's usually the best idea, usually, I think. Yeah, good shit. Capacity zero. That sounds like a fucking good thing. I think the most complicated thing in this game is the upgrades. I still don't really understand them. But that's only because I have a fucking short attention span. So let's do a story mission. I can control my ship. Control my ship with my keyboard and mouse. Control my ship. Control my ship. Oh, uh, yeah. It's flying in download screen. Oh, uh, yeah. Whee! So yeah, sometimes you get go onto the surface of the planet. A lot of the times uh, you uh, go in the ships as well. So basically, we have to find arcane codices because they gave you magical abilities and shit. Okay, shut up, Lotus, you little prick. Um, I am Tenno. This is me. We, we're a species of some shit. You can go into the storyline more if you want to. I can't be fucking asked. Uh, you can sneak. Yeah, with, with V. And then you can fucking crack this dude's head wide open, yeah? Jesus Louises. Was that silent? That, that dude looks like it wasn't silent. Yeah, so basically you go up to someone and you shoot them. And they fucking die. It's really fleshy. And it's really nice. It's like fucking eating a crab, you know? Like, like hard outcore, but when they're dead... They like fall on the ground and they're dead and they're all mushy and shit. I've never eaten a crab if you if you couldn't tell. Oh fuck me, I'm such a skill. Yeah, crack a bitch. Crack a bitch. You're a cracker bitch. Also, I have four special abilities in the bottom right. You can see that the blue means I can use that. Basically Oh shit. There's a little there's a little alright, oh, maybe. Ah, oh, there we go. See, it was a shield. See, I have a thing called wisdom. So yeah, in the bottom right, uh, as you increase, I think as you kill people and do epic shit and stuff, uh, uh, gradually that that timer um, increases and you can use better abilities. Uh, ability Uno is whoa, but you have a choice depending on what um, what original Tenno you select. I think I don't know which. I can't remember which Tenno I selected, but uh, on this particular armor, it has unique abilities. So every armor has its own four unique abilities that you can use whenever you build up enough strength or stamina or whatever it's called. Um, so this one has is a bit um, on the defensive side, I think. It's it's the rhino, a uh, warframe, that's it. It's not armor, it's a warframe. That's that's why the, that's what the fucking game is called. And I couldn't remember that. Uh, yeah, it's a warframe and you basically doss around and use the warframe's abilities to get through um, a bunch of shit. Um, right at the beginning of this, um, oh shit, I accidentally missed a thing. Mm. Uh, right at the beginning of this, I thought you had to kill all the creatures. Uh, you don't. I realised that was a completely foolish mistake, and only a, a fool would bother. What the fuck is that? I've never seen that before. What the fuck? Jesus Christ! Okay, well that, that's clearly a bad enemy. Um... Yeah, but it, it is a mistake to um, bother killing all the enemies because it's not worth that much. And considering, oh, you can press V and that, then you can slide and then you press space and you can fucking zoom to fucking the end of the earth, really. God, and the maps are massive. Yeah, to be honest, oh, I went through the thing and it damaged me quite a bit. Um, to be honest, this is a, an incredible game. Considering it's free... Even if it costed money, it would be better than a lot of games. Costed? That's a word. Cost money. No, costed isn't a word. Um, the maps are massive. Oh, for fuck's sake, I can't do that. Um, that alerts them. And then they're going to hurt me. Oh, yeah, and this is how you hack shit. You put space on the little things. It's just, it's just good. Uh, there are multiple different enemies uh, to kill. Or... Or not kill you can you can do everything sneaky if you try super hard, um, but yeah, there's multiple different races and I think there's a there's like flood creatures which are like they they only like uh, do melee combat and there's plenty of missions there's survival there's capture there's 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 it's it's big 
I do really recommend it if um, just generally I mean it's free isn't it I do keep on saying that but you might as well give it a try and see if you like it and it is a good game like even if a game was free and it was shit I'd still be like well that's a fucking decent ass game because it's free let's be fair if anything's free it's good okay that's that's the conclusion to my um, predicament. What? I am a moron. I didn't realize that it was based on time. Oh my god. Oraxian has died. My little Kubro is fucking dead. That was... This is... This is probably the saddest moment in my fucking life. Not even joking. <laughs> I, I've had a, a sheltered upbringing. I... <laughs> I'm gonna fucking lose the data! Speed is key, speed is key, speed is key! <laughs> Come on! Oh, oh, oh. Yes! I am mission complete. And as you see, I, I picked up quite a couple credits. Um, and ferrite and polymer bundle, which would, which is probably gonna help in, you know, making some shizzle whizzle. Oh, no he didn't die. Thank fuck, it's not one of those ga uh, games. Oh, Rexion, I thought you died. You're so fucking adorable. I don't give a shit about the story. I only care about you. Oh, look how cute he is. Now, the game does get a lot of updates, and the newest update is quite uh, controversial in the world of this game uh, because it's basically... Most updates have been, you know, extension to the missions, you know, another series of missions, you know, interesting artifacts, war, different warframes. But this new update, called the, the Plains of Eidolon, is a, a whole new thing that they're doing. They're doing um, an open world, a, a very large open world uh, on the plains of Earth. And it's just very, it's it's very interesting. I don't really know, I don't understand how people can do this and just let it be free. I guess enough people bought stuff in this game, you know, bought Warframes, because it does take a lot of um, effort to manually construct Warframes. But it... it <laughs> So many people must have bought equipment that they were like, might as well fucking make a a, a a whole world. Like, literally, this entire environment. Fuck, this is a map. Uh, yeah, if you could see that. Uh, it's a, it's a, just an open world. And I am slightly underleveled uh, for this area, but... Meh, let's toss about. <coughs> Holy shit, what was that noise? Oh, was that my cobra? Cobra, stop scaring me like that. Come Stop. Sonic snake. Solid snake. Oh no, there's a purple thing around me. I need to snap, snap this dude's neck. Come on. Fucking, fucking slap this little motherfucker. Holy moly. What the fuck that? What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Oh my god, they just landed troops. This is genius. Bagger off. Holy moly. What the hell was that? Holy moly. Holy moly. Holy moly. To be honest, I should really get into the storyline. It is just me. Don't don't be swayed by the storyline because I'm saying that I, I, I don't find it that interesting. T to be honest, if I got into it, it's, it's incredibly complex and incredibly amazing and... It's just so fucking cool, that thing. Earlier when I came here, they were fucking getting little uh, fossils out the ground and cutting them open and they were all bloody and shit. It's just, it's, just, it's just an epic game on epic proportions and it's all free. Just completely free. They never ask you to pay for anything. They never... It doesn't... It's not really play to, to win. I mean, it's not really uh, pay to win, sorry. It's basically play to win. And if you pay to win, then that's fine. See, what the fuck is this? I'm so confused. I'm actually gonna do a proper one this time. I re I recommend like you know a good eight out of ten. I'd say, it's it's decent. I like it. It's good. You should check it out. It's it's. I know I said this like eighteen times, but it's free. F give it a try because, it's it's something to, you know. Use, you know, use up the time before our, our deaths. Thank you and good night.